Good evening. We start tonight with the risk to police officers from a dangerous drug that it now has become very real. This after an Ohio police officer overdosed a few days after he just touched fentanyl. Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich shows us how more police departments in Indiana are getting new technology meant to keep them safe in the war on drugs. Bartholomew County is the latest police agency to protect its officers from drugs that are just dangerous to the touch. Now, when they encounter drugs on a traffic stop, they'll be a lot safer. Bartholomew County Police. It's a neat instrument, really. Have a new device to protect against a familiar enemy. Officers start training on TrueNARC tomorrow, which identifies hundreds of substances without touching drugs at all. It can tell you it's heroin, it can tell you it's fentanyl, it can tell you it's methamphetamine. Bartholomew County just got their first machine. Hold it over that laser. Which works like the one Indiana State Police demonstrated for us this winter. It's going to scan the pill to find out exactly what it is. More departments are getting these since the very drugs police are trying to get off the streets are putting officers in danger. You think about getting shot, stabbed, assaulted, uh, but you, you know, some unknown substance that you come in contact, it's not something that you just necessarily think is gonna take you down and it's unfortunately taking officers down. That nightmare scenario happened just days ago in East Liverpool, Ohio. After a traffic stop and drug arrest, an officer noticed white powder on his shirt back at the station. Without thinking, he brushed it off with his bare hand and he overdosed. It was fentanyl. It took four doses of Narcan to save him. The officers are going down from this. How, how can we protect the public from it? So yeah, it's important that we have this tool to help protect ourselves. With overdose calls doubled in this county year over year, it is a daily need. Officers won't have to open bags to test this stuff anymore. The $13,000 TrueNARC device, paid for mostly with donations, will help keep officers safe. The Sheriff's Department hopes to purchase another TrueNARC machine. Also, more scans for the one that they just purchased. The current one has only 150 scans, and considering they encounter drugs multiple times a day, that could run out in just a few months. John? All right.